Hi everyone, I hope you're well. My name is Anastasia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna cover new brand. I never did it before. Uh, it's one of the brands that I really wanted to try, but actually I think I was like, I didn't know about it for a while because I wasn't following a lot of those like younger type of bloggers. So it is a naked fashion. And I picked some items that are going to be good for your spring summer season and if you didn't watch any of my videos before so I usually go for something that uh, looks modern but elegant I don't want to call it like looking expensive but I want to go for the items that are pretty versatile uh, that would serve you well but still we're gonna look into like more trendy things because if you're shopping something new I believe you should go for for the latest because what that's what we need we already have like our old items, our classy items in our wardrobe. So style evolves every season or so. So um, I'm really excited to show you a couple of the pieces that I found on the Naked Fashion. I'm gonna have links down below and I'm just gonna move uh, towards the... I'm gonna change the set so you can see how everything fits and I'm just gonna film as I go and as I try things on because I think it's the format that I love the best. Okay, my first item here is this cropped blazer in a mink mole color. Really neutral. I went for a size 34. It does come pretty oversized. I think in naked, what everybody is usually wants to shop for are blazers, denims, trousers because they do quite change a lot season by season so now the big trend that is going to be here for for some time is a cropped blazer i think i should be doing this trend because it's something that suits me so um yeah give it a try i find that i really like the material and the design of the items for what i can see uh this one is has a really good structured shoulder like everything is made kind of well, nicely. I think it's made uh, cheaper because they're using like cheaper labor probably and maybe things are not as detailed as in other brands but I think these items are perfect for like styling with some of the like statement bags so they could be like a black wardrobe but also something that's really modern so my idea was to find a lot of things that I could style with with my accessories that I already have I think it's time to try the denim. Uh, for the denim, I wanted to try something really like crazy, really trendy uh, that I usually don't go for. So that's why I went for these. Actually made in Turkey. Mid-waist, loose, long jeans and light blue. Really, really wide. So I'm gonna try them on now. Okay, the so jeans are really, really wide. Exactly what it says in the description. I uh, probably should not have sized up, so I guess if I went for my true 34, uh, it would be better, but I just felt like I, I gained a size recently. Maybe not, so it's definitely really wide. I do like the quality. It's really rigid, it's really, you know, strong denim. I also think I like the length, uh, although I'm not like, super tall. It is not extra long, so I would not need an alteration here. It falls beautifully on, the, on top of my loafers. So yeah, I think it's a really cool look. I think I could actually keep this size, but I usually do the alteration. On the, on the jeans to have the waist done a bit smaller. So uh, yeah, here's also kind of really cool detail. And usually premium jeans, they have a similar detail in leather or in brown, so really cute. This is a light type of denim, so it's really versatile for both summer and spring and fall. And I like how it goes even with my black blazers. I think it's my preferred color because you want to you want it to be a bit more bright so this is what it is with the uh, with the cropped blazer and for the bag so i i wanted to style it with the also modern style sunglasses so i'm going for this one from celine and for the bag i want something rounded so it could be a saddle bag or similar style bag like this one here 
or something even more soft and feminine. That could be a Bottega a Mini Jody. I have this one from Zara. I bought it last uh, fall. Really, really love it. It's so cute. So that's what it is because otherwise with an even more structured bag, I feel it's going to be just too strong. Then I saw this jumper. It uh, is a symmetry. It is a rib knit. All elements that I usually like, a little color. And uh, I could... I like things like this because they are having that a little bit of extra. I do hope that you'll be able to see the definition of this jumper. I also quite enjoyed just shopping on the website because uh, you can find like models that are more like you in terms of color. So you can shop with the style that you like or and they always give you suggestion on what it should go with and if that item is not available uh, there's a replacement item and if they had a pair of shoes or an accessory in that outfit they would also uh, suggest it i think that's really really helpful that is what i miss now at midporte it was like this you could always like check what exactly was styling like and i think it was it was easier to shop that way, so this is the jumper. Okay, I do hope that you can see it. Yeah, that's what I like. It has this, this designer vibe because of the, of the cut. I had a similar bl uh, jumper before in ivory. It was helmet lang, I think. That was a similar vibe. Yeah, that's what I would go for because I recently bought a black plain jumper and although it's more versatile, but it's so not me, it's not giving me what I'm looking for. And to go with this jumper and with many of the other items that I have in my wardrobe, I wanted to find a pair of grey trousers and I wanted to try their trousers as well because the last time I ordered from Zara the grey trouser that I didn't keep it it was not the quality that I would wear it's just like I saw that the fabric was not like dense enough uh, these fabrics from what I can see the fabrics are really good it's just some of the seams uh, they're not like done to the highest standard but for like filming for photography for you know things that look good usually uh, you should go for like the fabric is more important i guess just wanted to show you how i would style it i think it needs a third color here otherwise just too plain uh, black uh, shoes black jumper and the uh, bag should be like third color like a caramel or bright but i think this brown looks really good here good i have them in my true size what, what do you feel when you just put it on? It is a kind of comfy fit because of the fabric as well, it's quite smooth. So I think it's it's a really quite good demi-seasonal uh, fabric, has the pockets. I like to add, you know, like white layer on the bottom if there's something that you can show and um, if there's a, you know, second color here. So just to contrast it a bit, I think I would wear it with more like elevated loafer. Uh, this one by Hermes. I'll try this one on. And I really like it, and you don't have to, you know, uh, iron it and make a pin to make a line. What is it called? A crease. Yeah, you don't have to make a crease on these trousers, and it seems that they're gonna be easy to wash, easy to maintain. I guess I'll add them to my wardrobe. Here is what I would style it for more wintry days. Okay, now we're gonna start moving towards spring uh, outfits and I have decided to get these white pants. Their material is so nice, it's like crap. It's like that material that maybe your grandmother would wear so it's really quite you know textured it feels really dense and it has something to it that you feel that this item is definitely more special than if it was made from the very plain material otherwise and uh, i got one of the basic tops they're really good at basic tops at naked fashion but i just have so many of them that i didn't really need i think for my next 
travel to Thermal Cold, I'll check it out again. So this should be really flattering with a square neckline. The top is definitely so flattering. Such a nice neckline, just what I usually like to go for. That would serve me as a under you know, base for any of my blazer outfits that I usually go for. I had a really similar but more in a cream beige color. I didn't have it in white. Material uh, they use, they have this eco label. It says it's very ecologically sustainable material made of wood pulp, which is a viscose, but it has its own brand name. But what I like is the cut. You can't really find these type of like fitted at the waist items in many many of the stores yeah i know that many of the stores they try to serve all kind of like customers in all kinds of shapes and forms but this is just uh, i feel like so flattering so girly i'm gonna try the trousers now for you and it was the same for many of the rest of the items you would feel like they're really quite feminine or they're like they might seem like something is more bucky but it's it's made with the thought of dressing a girl who is beautiful and feminine that's what i think the main uh, idea of this brand i think i was missing that kind of brand in my life you remember the times of the nasty girl like nasty girl was the brand that would do things like that i hope you can see the fabric definition how wonderful they are they have a little slit on the bottom of the leg i definitely didn't have anything like that in my wardrobe and i can say like oh anastasia you have too many uh pants that are white but i have very different types of trousers like some of them are more casual some in more like linen fabric this is also more ivory as you can tell but the similar effect you might get with the ivory uh, jeans but with the trousers, they are gonna be like more like even more like dressy if you would want to wear them out. I could see myself wearing it with a black tops or with like any dressy tops that I have for the evening. And they are quite lightweight as well, so I think I would take them to the holiday occasions. Here's just styling it with the Loewe basket tote and um, Hermes Oren very plain very basic and glossy combination another pair of trousers try to guess <laughs> it is the cargo trouser as I think in every, this season I'm gonna do it in every brand it is really nicely cut I really like the finish of it especially like even in the inside it's really professional finish that the seam is closed uh, in this how they do like tailored pants for men so they're really comfy and you cannot complain that something is itchy because it does have a lot of the seams and the detailing seem to be quite minimal so there's not too many details not uh, like on the other pants and at the same time they're quite elegant as well because there's no like super oversized details this is quite modest size for the pocket and the material itself it's like it feels uh, like a cotton i guess but it has a really good knit so like a softer type of denim with a little bit of viscose and polyester so yeah it is looking very nice and it should feel very nice uh, when you wear it what was it as a yeah, it was also a size 34. I think they also do a 32 for like very, very small petite girls, like extra, extra small. You know, <laughs> when you go for the right color, I think you can't really go wrong with the, with the style. So this is what I usually uh, trying to do for every season that I am trying to style new things. I just go for the color that I know that would definitely work for me. They are a bit long, so you could wear them with a bit elevated heel or I think I would just do a loafer, blazer and, uh, and a tote. Here is how it looks at the back. Okay, so this outfit would be uh, a cropped 
blazer, also from Naked Fashion. Year 2K style sunglasses and a bag. This is by Mango. Really like that it has like this metal chain. Really adds the finishing to the outfit. And uh, you know, cool like younger London girls. I think they wear this type of outfit these days. Yeah, really nice like tonal here, but then uh, second color and the third color for the edge. And for the second option, I wanted to go for my most worn black blazer that I use in most of my styling, and it's part of my capsule wardrobe. This says by Arket, and it is a wool hopsack blazer. So this is a bit upscaled, less feminine look. That's why I wanted to add, change out the bag for something that is a bit more interesting. So I'll use the summer tote by Loewe. And that is how versatile, you know, like these neutral basics are. So I, th I think, yes, again, most important is to go for the right color. I think a few seasons ago I was doing the mango haul and I, I was doing more black tops and I went for the color of trousers that like really didn't suit me so I, I thought it worked as it was a neutral but then uh, it actually didn't work for me and I couldn't wear it. So more ivory and these meat tones you need to see, you need to be able to see if that undertone has a little bit more green or it has a little bit more grey or like brown. I know that you, it has like it takes time to train that eye, but uh, it's really worth it. Otherwise, like neutral, like white, black, navy, and cream. I think cream is kind of safe. All right, so I have two more looks for you, and they consist of items that are separate. So they could be wearing with each other i think i'm gonna just uh, do one uh one, do them separately uh, one is black and one is uh warm linen ivory it is like a shell color like darker than yeah maybe like ivory natural linen color i would say like this and i think the top that was originally in that set that was not available so the website suggested that i would go for this one i really tried it it's so cute it's like very very much resort so these are purely resort items it has a little of toweling effect it also has this elastic and uh, like silicone aligned that it should not just go down by its on its own the skirt is really beautiful so i call it a bombshell outfit and i know i had a skirt like similar skirt like this before but the cut became not fashionable to me and i felt like i was not gonna wear it this uh, i like the skirts like this because they're really comfortable even if you you if you're like somewhere on holiday but you don't want to be super fitted, like if you could be a bit bloated in the belly area, this would be so great. So let me try that for you. So the bombshell outfit is here. I think the cuts are at Naked Fashion, so gorgeous as I mentioned again, look like this sits nicely on the hips and then goes up to the waist and sits really nicely. I don't know how they do it, but it's just amazing fits really amazingly and this is the crop top i don't even feel like it needs any alteration really really like it i think for for my summer days i would definitely need this in my life <laughs> so uh for the evening i guess i would go for the small round kind of tote for more of the beach days also like resort style i would I was wearing this bag a lot in the evenings as well when I was on holiday. I also, I really like this type of linen and the color so I also went for a shirt and I'll try to layer it and create like a more relaxed outfit for, for a holiday kind of time. Vacation. This shirt was in uh, Romy Street kind of blogger collaboration. I don't really know who that is. Follow 
I guess for the shirt, I should just leave it loose or I would style it to go with the, with the jeans or trousers. But this is, this could be a good holiday combination. I'm gonna style it also with the chunkier style of slides. These are by Mango in black. I think it's just like everything blends together. But I don't see a definition when you have you have it together with the shirt. So I would leave it like this for now. Also, as I've mentioned, this is like a bomb style, uh, bombshell styling. I wanted to style it for the evening, so I'll add a slick sandal with a thin uh, spaghetti straps. These are by Zara and an evening bag. Here would be the finished look. I, I'm thinking again this linen should go really well for those summer days when the humidity is really high uh, like in Dubai, in Turkey, in uh, Mediterranean and also quite modest as you can tell. Really we just need something to cover up on the top in the case of the AC. My second bombshell outfit is all black and it has such an interesting uh, fabric. I didn't see it before. It's like knitted, rib knitted, but has a vintage effect. So it's kind of muted black that should look really nice uh, also on the tanned body, but the skirt, the skirt is pretty quite versatile, so you could even wear it um, in the winter time. I feel like you you could wear it uh, not just for summer because it's just doesn't tell exactly what it what it is. Really nice effect. So my other item that I got from Naked Fashion was this pair of boots. So I wanted to I want to style this outfit for you with. But the boots are really thin, like I, I did not have that thin of a heel in a long time but it's not super tall so it's kind of not, not too tall, you could wear it, it's wearable but the stability is a little bit like wobbly. I was surprised at the price of the shoes and they look, the look is uh, really nice, really smooth. Like I always, like I usually get irritated like when are the cheaper shoes they make a sole a bit thicker like they put a resin or something is coming out I don't see anything here it is made in a way that I quite like and I don't see any issues and leather feels quite soft and quite shiny I guess you should you should wear it before you can judge it I forgot to show you I also ordered a silver sterling silver necklace I feel like they do really nice accessories but they get all sell out they sell out really fast. Uh, just something really simple because what I have is usually a bit, a bit extra. <laughs> okay, so here is me wearing the second bombshell look. Also, really, really good fit. It is not overly like exposed. Fabric feels nice. It is tight, but not super tight. I think the sizing is just right, just perfect. And I'm not even like that. Curvy, I guess, but it does give me a nice shape as I can as I can tell I'm still not sure <laughs> if I'm gonna adding it if I should be adding it to my uh, summer wardrobe But I guess for anybody who is like a minimal wardrobe uh, person something that goes together, but also you can split it up in two pieces and wear it separately should be a no-brainer So this is the outfit that I had in mind maybe even for the valentine's because here in Abu Dhabi is quite warm as you can tell <laughs> even in February so for uh, Dubai or Abu Dhabi in winter suitable um, the boots are pretty for fun for me I don't regularly use boots for going out what do you guys think could I wear this outfit with the boots or is it just a little bit much and for the last outfit of this haul. I really want to try to style the shirt for you. This linen is more stiff and the cut of the shirt is really quite modern. I remember the 
totemi shirts that I tried was really similar with a wider sleeve, like bigger amount of fabric on the sides and a longer length. So this would allow you for, you know, versatility for having it for a few different moods. So this would be the feminine because the sleeve is wider. I always feel like the when the sleeve is a little bit too narrow, it it is like a tailored standard corporate shirt and not the vibe that we are going for. So because these jeans are so so wide fitting, I think we could try to do a tuck. On a good side, I like why I like these jeans. They're really super extra, you know, wide, but you feel small in there, like when you wear it, you feel like you're more slim. You feel like you could be lost in them, so that's the feeling that I like. And yeah, that's the shirt. Really quite similar to the to the cut of Toremi that I tried some time ago and I didn't go for it because I think it was about, about 500 euros. When I look at the shirt, I always check that the detailing is good. It is really quite good. It's really fine. Like, you know, the distance between the seams is really small. That makes it feminine. On, on, a, ma uh, on a man's shirt, it usually, like this type of like placket is bigger or, you know, the collars are either too small or they're like, too long. They're not feminine enough. This is really nice. Let me finish it off with my loafer. I think I will go for the more oversized loafer here with a chunky sole. Like I would go for this one. This is by Mango. Hope they still have it. I'll link them down for you. Uh, for sure, I can see I could use some definition, so I'll add a belt. This is another one that I found at Mango. It has a really nice oval shape buckle that is not already big i don't usually go for the belts that are too wide i have some really small thin ones like the bottega but uh, it would not work holding an outfit like this together so for the jeans if you need a bigger definition i think that's what you should go for okay this is looking better okay and because it's a naked fashion fall let's finish it off with the same blazer We'll go for the designer bag because I think still like naked fashion is the label that serves to people who are wearing more designer bags. And my sunglasses. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you loved it. And if you like my modern take on classic styling, if you also like to shop investment items for this season subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram sometimes i share quick tips and my stories and my reels give you really good outfit inspo i'll try to link all items that i used here before but if it's not gonna be in stock i'm gonna link something similar and i'm gonna see you in my next one bye